Hey what's going on guys, welcome back to another monster video. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the monster with Myro Copperbeard. This is a legendary monster that became a mythic and today I have a rank 3 for you guys to see. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the best skills, the best screen setup and everything you need to know. So I hope you guys do enjoy this and if you do, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So ladies and gentlemen, as you guys can see, we have a rank 3, uh, level 130 at Myro Copperbeard. So I'm going to go ahead and feed it up right now and huge thanks to Bunky for letting me borrow her account to review this monster for you guys so he thinks of her but let's take a look at the stats here without the rings um so we have 18,438 uh okay not bad that's actually good 261,929 and 11,438 speed so overall the stats i do like i think those, those are actually pretty good now taking a look at the traits we have artifacts super tune regains 50 stamina points one effect by weak types and then status gets your precision to everybody. Okay, I thought it was just going to be for itself, but it's everybody. So that's pretty good. Um, but then we have two elements. Okay. Metal and water. All right. So now it, before I go ahead and get into the runes, we have to take a look at the skills. What do we have here? Moderate metal damage to one enemy applies bleed to one enemy. We also have remove all torture from one ally, which is actually spammable. And then moderate metal damage to all enemies applies bleed to all enemies. Comes with a torture, and then it comes with another torture, electrified. Applies electrified to all enemies, resources all cooldown on all allies, and that deals 15% to our damage and blocks the area dodge effects. Now, let's see what else we have. Moderate metal damage to an enemy, applies bleed to an enemy, resource all cooldown on all allies. I would probably run that honestly. Let's see what else we have. Moderate metal damage to an enemy, up and then to all enemies. Okay, so you do it to one enemy first and then to all. Okay, kind of like Dark Voltic, you know, that one. AoE skill. Uh, applies extra fight to all enemies. Yeah, run that. Let's see what else we got. Gives 30% of stamina to all allies, removes all torture from. Oh, okay, we have a AoE torture removal skill. Now, you also have a Corsair charge, which is a moderate metal damage to all enemies. Or to one enemy, sorry. Applies extra fight to one enemy and then research all cooldown on itself. Okay, not bad. Um, So he's like a hybrid monster, let's just call it. Okay, so basically a attacker mixed with support. That's what he is, it seems like okay what is that no 60 stamina 55 47 and 50 no oh man that's gonna mess up this monster oh no okay i see why he has that super attuned he definitely need the extra stamina <laughs> um and then the cooldowns are actually a bit high too it's like medium to high i see he does have access to two tortures though okay oh another thing i mentioned or forgot to mention is all of his Skills that deal damage are metal elements. Yeah, literally. All of the ones that deal damage are metal elements, meaning that he's going to be weak against his own type. So, kind of sucks. Now, you can actually, like I mentioned, he's a hybrid. You can use as a supporter or as attacker. So, you can probably do like two speed or three speed, or you can do two speed, one team speed, or two strength and one speed, or one speed, two strength, if I didn't say that, two speed, one strength things like that so it's really up to you what you want to do run it as a supporter or attacker that's up to you take a look at the relics we have a sword and we have a banner okay relic select i do like i do like the relic select i've got to say now i would probably do mr b's banner here because there aren't any swords that give you stamina so this is your best bet and if you want to you can do laser Rune sword if not voltage sword a virus sword there's so many swords that you can go with I kind of want to go with his own talent because I know I have that in here. Wait, where the heck is it? Oh my gosh, it's right here, right? Copperbeard's hook? Yeah, that's his name. Oh my gosh, no, I should have read it. Okay, I think I'm going to use this monster as a supporter. Actually, no, we're going to use it as an attacker. Let me do attacker, okay? Now again, you can do supporter if you want, but he's kind of like a hybrid monster, so you can do whichever one. So here we have our supporter, we have another supporter, and then we have our attacker. Now, this monster doesn't need any like torture immunity, things like that, because of course we do have the artifact trait, thanks to that. So you don't need any monsters like, for example, Talika for damage boost, or for example, um, other things like that size of torture immunity, things like that you don't really need. Now, something that you could probably start off with would be remove positive status effect, or you can actually do trade disable, so you can clear the path. And then we can remove positive status effect. You can do much more, but let's just turn transfer straight away. Now, you don't get the light hit or anything like that. Now, as an attacker, this monster is not so good, I've got to say. Reason for that is because of the damage output. The damage output is really, really low compared to other attackers. So that can suck, I've got to say. Now, that is actually a single target skill. The other monsters get hit. Shadow Nia's Ascend. 
I guess we can possess the enemy. And now, what we can do, another metal attack, of course, all of his skills, again, that deals damage are metal. Kind of sucks, but you have to deal with it. Um, I would probably run this monster more of a support instead of attacker, actually. I kind of changed my mind running as uh, attacker. Although, again, it is a hybrid monster. You can do, do it either way, but... Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I, I thought that was the extra turn skill. Uh, so we have Bleeding. We also have Give 30% of Stamina to all allies and lose all tortures. If I'm not mistaken, that's probably going to trigger the Super Attuned, right? It might. So it's going to give us more Stamina than usual. Yeah, look at that. Thanks to that trait. That's good. That skill, I would recommend running it. Let's turn Transfer over. We can do Electrified again. Coffee Beer Hook also kicked in. And again, you can kind of spam this. It's a two turn cooldown, kind of. Spam it, not literally. You, you do have to wait two turns, but there we go. We crush it with all the tortures. So again, I would recommend running this monster more of a support rather than attacker. Um, but if you want to do attacker, that's up to you. But I just think it's best if you do it as a um, supporter. All right. Now we can do something like this. So if it has full stamina, uh, normally on PvP you get hit with lots of tortures. So if you don't have any monsters that has torture immunity things like that, you can always just move all tortures with this skill. And give 30% of stamina as well as a bonus. Uh, now this skill right here is actually an AoE. We can go ahead and use it. So first it deals a little damage and then the rest of the damage goes towards the other two monsters on the side. You know what I mean? So that's something that you can keep in mind. We can go ahead and possess. That didn't work. Electrify, take that, bam. So there are better attackers than this monster, but you know, if you want to do supporter, take that route too. But again, even if you do supporter route, there are better supporters than this monster. Just letting you know. Alright, but just don't pair it up with any damage boosters and stuff like that because you can't really do anything with that. The monster has artifact trait. You can't really receive any damage boosts or other positive status effects. So that's that. But anyways guys, I hope you did enjoy today's Monster of the Monster review on the Monster of the Mitral Coffee Beer. Let me in the comments down below what you guys think about him, whether you actually purchased Legends Pass or not. But thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.